Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Slammer4. Today we are coming at you with another Little War Game video. Today I have the pleasure of uh, introducing Dragon Archer Z in the top right, up against myself in the bottom left. I've gone for a fir workshop first expand with a single Gatling, up against a house castle Rax. So we can see the raider super late for Dragon Archer Z, and he's uh, been able to leverage a pretty nice um, gold advantage off the back of this. Uh, I'm going to be trying to hunt down this damaged worker at the moment. Uh, almost got surrounded there, but the cannon sneaks through. Two more shots on this worker, and he will die. Ah, uh, three more, excuse me. Um, and now the raider is going to shoo this Gatling gun out. I'm going to try to get as much damage as I can, but unfortunately the raider uh, is going to be able to catch the raider, uh, catch the cannon, sorry, very quickly in this game. So this is going to be a um, really good me uh, Rax versus Mech match for um, you guys to study. Uh, I think there's a lot of, um, oh, that's a terrible prediction error there. I think there's a lot of uh, good um, notes to kind of watch uh, for how Dragon Archer Z plays this. Um, and I think it's a good game to study for Rax versus Mech. Um, first thing we're going to notice is the way that um, Dragon Archer Z has played a very greedy economic game. Um, and he is pretty safe to do that because um, he kind of knows that the Mech player doesn't really have a ton of units early in the game. I can put pressure with a couple Gatlings, but Raiders are fairly efficient at dealing with Gatling cannons. And you can always pull to workers. Um, so he's going to be able to leverage that advantage. A uh, bit of a mistake on my part is I built a early catapult. This was supposed to be a Gatling, and you're going to see that this catapult is really a, a major li liability in defending against raiders. It, it can't do damage to raiders, and in fact, it's, it's very likely to hit your own units. So that was a bit of a mistake and kind of an annoyance uh, on my part. Uh, I'm similarly trying to match uh, the met, uh, greed that Dragon Archer Z has gone for. You can see that Daz has a couple worker advantage, um, but my castle is also going to come up pretty much at the same time. Um, again, the way the fact that he has these raiders causes uh, the Rax player to really have to play a little bit defensively. This is again where this if this catapult was a was a Gatling gun, it would have been much easier to make this defense um, because three three Gatlings basically just shoots these raiders away immediately. And uh, I mean, even two Gatlings is pretty fine. But Dragon Archer Z is pretty fine with that. You, you notice he's still working off that single. Um, barracks, and he's actually going for a fourth castle. That's a fourth castle at 530, 540. That's a really fast third castle. Meanwhile, his raiders are going to continue to um, do damage. Uh, as you can see, the three raiders just jump on the um, catapult. I don't, I think I missed it, but he had a single raider snipe a worker down here, which is why some of my cat cannons were out of position. Um, and it's just delaying uh, the mech players mining here. Um, and putting the Rax player even further ahead economically. Um, so in general, when you play a Rax versus Mech, the Rax player is going to have superior economy. I mean, this is particularly good for Dragon Archer Z. He's been very safe to um, ma macro up to a really nice four base economy. Uh, you don't always get this large of a worker advantage, um, and it's definitely been good control by Daz to even pick off a couple workers here and there and delay this third base. But in general, uh, as the as the Rax player. Um, you're going to have nice income advantages. I think some of the games that we saw previously, Vizix fan against Dragon Archer Z, uh, and I think even Vizix fan against myself, you've seen the Rax player has been able to secure some pretty solid economic advantages. And oh my goodness, already a fifth base. Dragon Archer Z is, doesn't even care. He's got one Rax. He's already getting, well, he's got a second Rax now. But he has almost no units, but he's very safe just to throw down towers and expand here. Um, because the threat of this backstab with the raiders kind of forces me to be a little bit defensive with my with my gatlings. Oh, here comes a raider, getting a nice snipe on that damage worker. Um, I don't think he's going to get a second kill here. He's does he's out of flash, so he can't run from these chasing workers. But still, the fact that uh, Daz is just able to safely secure this massive uh, economy, and he's already going to be had a severe upgrade advantage. The mech player doesn't. Uh, I don't even have upgrades uh, down at the moment. A lot of workshops coming down. We're gonna have a nice uh, met count here, um, and definitely if we look at the supply, uh, the the raiders are really important here because they're able to scout and see at what stage the mech player is at. Um, 
definitely, I think these Gatlings could probably do put some pressure on if um, if I kind of knew what, what he was up to. But because of the way the matchup works, I have no knowledge of what uh, is going on, on the other side of the map. I don't know he's being so greedy. He could have a large Rax Force ready to kind of pounce. So it's very scary for the mech player to really make any plays out on the map here. As a result, I'm just going to be playing a very safe game, um, which is going to allow uh, the Rax player to have a lot of freedom and a lot of position on the map and really just gain a massive economic advantage, which he's going to lever leverage into a really strong mid to late game. Um, so both players are, are going to be pretty. Uh, we're going to be pretty confident to just sit back. Uh, we're going to have the first drop play coming out from uh, from me. I'm going to try to get whatever damage I can done. Uh, another thing to really note uh, during this game is the way that Dragon Archer Z is defending from drops and the positioning he has of his towers. This tower covers the major drop areas for this base. It's going to be very tough for the catapults to get damage down. You can definitely drop here and shoot this way, um, but it's definitely tricky. Uh, this cannon covers this area, and the only dead space is this central area, and that's where you can kind of bring archers in and start to trap the um, catapult. So the first drop is going to get some damage down. Good micro by Daz. He uh, is able to dodge most of the shells, and again, these archers are going to come in and start trying to cut off the reinforcements um, from the rack from the mech player. So I'm going to try to come in and start putting shells down, but again, these archers um, are able to pick it up, and ooh, a bit of a miscontrol there allows a bunch of extra free shots going down. And at this point, I'm kind of trapped, so I have to try to get up here, and this tower placement just totally shuts down the drop. That's already a huge win for the Rax player. Definitely miscontrolled by me. Um, shouldn't be taking that much damage from the archers. Got to be faster on pulling them back. Um, and just good positioning on the towers, zoning the drops, and causing absolutely no damage to be taken. Uh, definitely luring the drop into this area allows the archers to kind of surround it. So I am going to try to utilize this large uh, mech force. I've kind of realized that to the extent of the greed that the Rax player has played, so I've decided that I need to kind of try to um, uh, try to counter it and punish it in a, in a way so that the uh, trying to kill off as much as I can using my cannons. The cannons are going to do a lot of execution, as you can see here, and a lot of archers are going to go down. But in general, this is a trade that Dragon Archer Z is pretty happy to take. Um, the mech is going to do even trading, but really not enough damage to uh, replace this type of economy. And a second drop would be really strong to have, but unfortunately I don't get it out until a lot later in this match. Um, there you go, it's heading out. Um, ideally, you'd want that drop around hitting around now, if not sooner. Um, and the other thing that you really need as mech is towers. So in the open field, these uh, these cannons and, and catapults are going to really struggle to deal with small uh, teams of archers uh, already with plus four. So we can see the Rax player has kind of already leveraged um, his economic advantage to secure a really massive um, upgrade advantage. And the amount of gold that uh, we see from our Rax player is just going to be pretty insane. Um, a couple clean Artillery hits are going to kill uh, three or four workers um, here. So that's a nice uh, nice damage from this drop, but really that's one of the least saturated bases, so unfortunately it's not going to be really enough. Um, definitely, I think my biggest mistake in, in, in this game, well, one of my biggest mistakes is not having workers. This is a pretty committed, almost all-in attack, uh, and really I think a couple workers would, would be really strong. Uh, I like the way that uh, Dragon Archer Z is utilizing his drops here. Uh, enabling his Rax units to close the distance and, and get really strong uh, initial damage out. And this play is going to be uh, slapped back. I'm going to have to pull back um, with my units. Unfortunately, these, these cannons get a little bit misrallied. And the drop is going to get cleaned up. Almost got one more rock here would have done extreme damage. But uh, unfortunately, I wasn't controlling it well. I think if I'd gotten a shot off there, I would have gotten three or four more, um, more, shot, more uh, kills. So I'm just going to kind of continue to slow it down, macro out a large mech force, um, and start con taking control with towers wherever I can. Uh, meanwhile, Dragon Hunter Z is at a really nice economy. Um, he's at th he's probably like at 130, but he's getting just an excellent. He's already got his plus five attack, so his soldiers and uh, archers are at full strength. Um, and this is a bit of a mistake on my part. I move my racks units down uh, without any uh, cover. 
And the way that Dragon Hunter Z engages this fight is really key. He flashes in with raiders, messing up the AI, and then he drops in a sprinkling of soldiers with a couple archers in the back to deal damage. So the archers deal damage from the back, the soldiers engage on top of the catapults, forcing the catapults to kite back and shoot their own units. Um, and that combination is just killer, and it's enabling the Rax forces to uh, take a really good and strong engagement. Even the way that he's dropping the raiders and soldiers here uh, is making it uh, really impossible for my units to take the fight. And at that point, I, I'm just forced to, to GG out. This fourth base is going to die, and the amount of units and uh, control that Dragon Hunter Z has is just too strong to deal with. Um, so this is a really textbook um, game for Rax uh, versus Mech. Um, I think the key point in this game is the way that Dragon Hunter Z is able to expand with such impunity and get a really strong economic advantage. And as a mech unit player, you're kind of expected, you're, you're expecting your opponent to be in that position. So you have to realize that you're always going to be playing from that economic uh, disadvantage. Certainly you can see with the amount of money I've collected that um, my macro was, was a little bit poor here. Uh, you needed, I needed to have a lot more towers to really stop this attack. And I needed to not have my units um, isolated out here in this position because they're just going to get jumped on by the archers of Dragon Archer Z. As the mech player, you have to play a lot slower, and you really need to macro it a lot slower. Um, so that's a pretty large mistake that I made in this game. Um, but overall, just a really good game from Dragon Archer Z. I think you can learn a lot from this game. Um, and I think it's, it's a good uh, learning tool if you guys are interested in knowing how to deal with mech as racks. Also, notice the way he's sprinkling his racks around the map. This is for vision, and it makes it really hard for drops to deal damage. Um, as, as the mech player, my recommendation for you guys is to play a little more conservative with your drops. Don't always go for the mineral lines. You can actually drop your uh, artillery out here and start shooting at barracks, especially once you start getting upgrades out. Your catapults will kill these buildings pretty quickly, so you can kind of play this like chip away game against the racks player um, and just look for small edges because uh, it's going to be very tough for a player that's this well set up it's going to be very tough to actually deal direct damage to mineral lines. Um, the other thing to think about is you don't always have to do that damage. Um, I think in this game I was a little too aggressive with my play. Um, I kind of was going for this wonky three base timing uh, push, which I didn't really play well enough because I think you have to build towers and have workers for repair. Um, but uh, I was kind of half committed to that, and then once I lost that attack, I needed to really play more turtly, um, and I kind of was just too aggressive with my positioning, which led to, to the downfall of this game. Um, but in any event, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if you did, uh, smash that like, subscribe button. Uh, more Little Wargame content will be coming very soon, uh, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you later.